What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today's title, Five Signs You're Doing the Will of God. Let's get into it. Number one, you treat people with kindness. One of the signs that you're doing the will of God is no matter where you go, even if people are mistreating you, you still treat them with kindness. If they are attacking you, you turn the other cheek. And that's a part of doing the will of God. See, the Bible say, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and prosecute you. See, doing the will of God will cause people to hate you. It will cause people to become an enemy of you simply because of the favor that comes with doing the will of God, because the heavenly father will open up certain doors for you in order for you to glorify his name in hostile situations. And because of that, they're going to try to prosecute you. They're going to try to despitefully use you because of that favor that comes with doing the will of God as well. But no matter what happens, continue to pray for them. Continue to treat them with kindness because the only way to overcome hatred is that you do the opposite of hatred and that's to love your enemy. It's not an easy task and sometimes it will become very challenging, especially when the Heavenly Father send you to people that you know because he wants to use you in a mighty way. The Heavenly Father wants to use you for his will. so. It will be times that he instruct you to speak the truth. That brings me to number two. You speak the truth. The Bible say, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. If God is instructing you to go back to a familiar place and he's telling you what to say, that's what's going to make them free. Because God's word is true. And he wants people to be delivered from the snares of the enemy. So he will use you to do his will in order for you to speak the truth over the land. He wants people to know that his word has the power to deliver anyone who believes. So speaking the truth is another sign you're doing the will of God because you oppose anything that's deceitful. You oppose anything that doesn't fit the will of God. You speak the absolute truth, no matter what type of situation you're in. For example, you've been knowing particular people in your life for a long time. You consider them friends. But it might be situations when they want you to lie for them and you tell them no, because you're not going to let them change your character of who you are, you got a set of morals that you live by because you wanna please the heavenly father. See, that's why people gonna get mad at you. That's why doing the will of God creates enemies at times, even with the people that you've known for a long time. Because now you're living in the same truth you're speaking. So don't let the enemy try to cause you to speak lies because one thing the enemy will try to do is make you feel guilty about speaking the truth. See, one thing about speaking the truth, it hurts, but it will also hurt you as well because sometimes people can be very mean and they might not want to hear what you got to say at the beginning. They're going to prosecute you. They're going to try to overcome your truth with their belief system. But you got to have faith and you got to understand who's with you. And that's the spirit of Lord Jesus. He's going to strengthen you in the time of trouble, in the time of need, in the time of weakness. Just so you can continue to do the will of the Heavenly Father. So continue to speak the truth. Number three, you're a light in a dark place. When God has called you to do his will, he requires us to be a light in a dark place. See the words say, 
Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. See, one of the works we must do is speak the truth. And that's what happens when you speak the truth. You become a light in a dark place. See, some people don't really know why they hate you. But it's because the light that you carry on the inside of you is agitating the darkness that's within their heart. I remember when I was younger, this person ran up to me and hit me. And I said, yo, why you hit me? And he was like, I just wanted to. Then he said, I just don't like you. So I said, why you don't like me? And he said, I just don't. But guess what I did? I turned the other cheek. Now, I didn't understand what I was doing at the time when I was younger. Because, of course, I wanted to fight him. But I just let it go. And it was hard. And I got in a lot of fights when I was younger. But, you know, sometimes I just let it go. When you're able to let go of certain things that might be agitating you, that's doing the will of God. And that's you becoming a light in a dark place because you're not allowing the environment to corrupt your character anymore. You're deciding to be a standout. You're deciding to do something different than what everybody else is doing. That's being a light in a dark place. That's you becoming a leader. That's you doing the will of God. So people will become jealous of you simply because the Bible say ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Be different on purpose. Because when you are a person that's not trying to fit in, that means you're going to stand out. And you're going to be different amongst the crowd. And the glory of God can't be hid. It's going to always reveal the lies that's in people's heart, the schemes of the devil, deception. And you got to understand, the devil don't want his agenda to be revealed right away. He wants to sneak around. He wants to study you a little bit before he makes his move. But when you're surrounded by the light of Lord Jesus, he can't just attack you like he wants to. Because at the end of the day, people challenge what they don't understand. See, the words say the darkness will flee from the light. The darkness can't comprehend the light. So don't let the enemy put your light out by consuming you with the darkness that's in this world. Continue to be different on purpose and continue to be a light in a dark place because that's doing the will of God. Number four, you help people out of love. You might not have recognized this, but if you have helped people out of love, in spite of all the things you may have been through in life, you're doing the will of God. See, no matter how people mistreated you, no matter how people despitefully used you, you still help those that's in need. And you don't expect anything in return because you already know where your portion is coming from. You already know who's going to supply your every need. And that's the Heavenly Father. That's how you help people out of love. And when you do that, you're doing the will of God. See, people may try to use you and they might try to gain some type of opportunity because of the kindness that's in your heart. But don't let them change the love that's in your heart. Continue to leave whatever it is you're going through in the Father's hands because he sit high and looks low. Vengeance will be his. So that's why I can reassure you today that when you do things out of love, that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father because you're believing the Heavenly Father for what you need. You're not expecting anybody to treat you how you treat them. And that's out of love.
See, one day, God is going to bless you so much that you won't even have room enough to receive it all. And you may outgrow the environment that you're in now simply because you operate out of a place of love. And that's a quality about you that people may not understand. Because it goes back to number three, be a light in a dark place. See, people challenge what they don't understand. And sometimes people will abuse your kindness. They will mistake your kindness for weakness. And they will mistreat your love. That's why you keep God first. Because that's eliminating some of the pain that might come from those that try to hurt you. Those that abuse your love. Your kindness. They take it for granted. It's going to hurt. A little bit still because we still got to go through long suffering but at the end of the day at least it will have an end if we leave it in the heavenly father hands so continue to help people out of love because when god sees that that's pleasing to him because you're choosing to love your neighbor as though you love yourself if you see somebody hungry help them. If someone may need some shelter and you might got some extra funds to put them in a room for a day or two, help them. If someone needs some clothes because, you know, they going through hard times, they might be living on the street and you have the means to help them, do so. Because that's how you do stuff out of love. You help people because you wouldn't want to be in that situation. And maybe you have been in that same situation before. So when God elevates you, remember that you didn't want to be in that situation. So if you see someone in need, help people out of love and don't expect nothing in return because God will bless you in due time. Last, but most definitely not least, number five. You tell people about Lord Jesus. The Bible say, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. See, sometimes people don't confess the name of Lord Jesus in front of people because they are afraid of how they might judge them. But when you proclaim the name of Lord Jesus in any circumstance, it don't matter where you're at in life or in this world. Lord Jesus will confess your name in front of his father in heaven. So we may be prosecuted. People may talk about us. People may try to despitefully use us. And we got to continue to love our enemies. We got to continue to pray for those who use us. But no matter what's going on in life, always tell someone about Lord Jesus. Because you never know how that conversation may transform their life for the better. See, when you tell people about Lord Jesus, that's doing his will. Now, let's do a recap. Because... This will be a part of your purpose. You treat people with kindness. Whatever you're going through in life, no matter how people may treat you, you don't let them change your character and you continue to treat them with kindness. That's doing the Father's will. You speak the truth. No matter where you're at in life, you always speak the truth. Even if you got friends that try to make you lie for them, you still speak the truth. And that same truth will set them free. You're a light in a dark place. You continue to radiate the glory of God because you don't let people change your integrity. You continue to be different on purpose and that will cause you to be a light in a dark place because now you're standing out. You can't hide the glory of God. You can't hide a city on top of a hill. 
everybody will see it because of the favor that's in your life as well. You help people out of love. Your people may have tried to use you. Your people may have talked about you, but you still continue to help people out of love and you don't expect nothing in return because you know where your help comes from. And that's the heavenly father. He will supply your every need. He will double up your portion. He will exalt you in due time because you waited patiently on the heavenly father's timing. Therefore, causing you to help people out of love and not expect nothing in return. But God going to bless you because of that, because of that love that's in your heart. You tell people about Lord Jesus. Everywhere you go, every conversation you have, you're not afraid to tell people about Lord Jesus. And that's doing the will of God. So continue to do these things. Continue to apply the characteristics of God to your life, to your own life. Don't let the enemy change who you are as a person because now you are a born again creature in Christ. He has made you new. So continue to allow the light of God to radiate from your soul. Because when God has called you to do his will, it's not only going to transform your life, but it's going to transform others as well. So if any of these signs can apply to your life, then you're doing the will of God. And that's a part of our purpose as well. These are five signs. You're doing the will of God. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen.